going on everybody welcome back to crypto time so today i have some very bullish news some very bearish news they're in far opposites of one another but i'm going to start with the bad news so that we can end on a high note and I, re I reported on this story on my Instagram page a couple days ago. If you guys don't follow that, feel free to. The link is in the description. I do like little one-minute clips of updates on the market or news stories or whatever. So if you guys want to go follow that, feel free. I talked about how Noble Bank, which is the financial institution that backs Tether, was insolvent. Now, it wasn't confirmed that they're insolvent. But since then, there's been a lot of bad news and there's been nothing coming out. Um that's positive for tether bitfinex or the ceo which if you guys don't know tether and bitfinex share the same ceo so people who said they're not intertwined are just you're so out of the loop but anyways anyways um this article talks about how tether pulled 300 million dollars worth of tether so about 300 million tether tokens out of circulation uh talks about or it goes on to say how on october 9th they returned 100 million usdt uh, on October 14th, Bitfinex, which reportedly shares management team with Tether, they have the same CEO, sent another 200 million tokens to the treasury address. And then previously on October 3rd, Bitfinex had returned 10 million USDT to the treasury, uh, which has not issued any new tokens since September 21st. Not the best sign. As well as, apparently, uh, they're authorized to issue another 486 million worth of USDT but they have not done that yet. So there's supposed to be 486 million new tokens issued that were never issued. Um, doesn't sound like you have the money to bag it to me. Also, the fact that they're pulling this many tokens out of circulation, I don't know. It doesn't sound good. As well as Binance has ceased or, or suspended all withdrawals of Tether because of, what's the reason? A period of heightened activity not sounding too good for tether unfortunately tether is a pretty big staple in the cryptocurrency market right now boasting a market cap of what 2.4 billion dollars uh, within the top 10 if tether goes down and news does actually break that it's confirmed that noble bank and bitfax are insolvent that's gonna be a huge issue um i don't know where it will send btc it's definitely gonna go down the crypto the cryptocurrency market will follow it i don't want to say how low you know people are saying that this is going to take us back to 3k and i've seen 1500 i've seen under a thousand i've seen all kinds of prices i'm not going to make any calls like that um however if news does drop that they are insolvent it's not going to be good and it's not going to be pretty for the market but anyways, with that being the bearish news of the day, let's get to the bullish news of the day, which is the fact that Fidelity just made it easier for hedge funds and other pros to invest in cryptocurrencies. So they made a new company called Fidelity Digital Asset Services, which is going to allow their clients to invest in cryptocurrencies through them. They're going to be the custodians of it, which means they're going to hold it for them. So you can give them money, say I want $200 worth of Bitcoin, they buy the $200 worth of Bitcoin, they'll hold it for you. I'm sure there's going to be fees and tax and all that kind of stuff, but... It's just making it easier for people to get involved in cryptocurrency. And as the on-ramp gets easier and easier and people don't have to go through, you know, Coinbase and people don't need to go through exchanges that they don't trust or don't know how to use, just making it easier is going to make people much more inclined to invest in cryptocurrencies and to put their money in. I think that a lot of what happened in 2017, the market and the industries just weren't ready for this much volume and this many people to get involved so quickly that I think it scared a lot of people. So... As more companies start to do this and as people make this on-ramp easier and easier to get involved in cryptocurrency, we're going to see the market go back to where it was. Maybe not back to, you know, shoot back to 20,000, but things like this are definitely steps in the right direction. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this news. I'm going to link all of the articles in the description below. The Tether thing, I'm hoping and I'm praying for the best because I'm telling you, if news comes out where it's confirmed Noble Bank is insolvent, there was never, you know, a one-to-one -one ratio. There was never enough USD liquid to support all the tokens that were circulating. Oh, it's going to be a problem. So I'm hoping for the best with that. Let me hear you guys' opinions in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're not new. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And again, check out my Instagram in the description below for quick cryptocurrency content daily. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Till then, everybody. See ya.